Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at a very unique multi-tool that, well, you'll just have to wait and see. So this is going to be the Smith & Wesson 15 function multi-tool. And right off the bat, it is a very budget multi-tool. So it is not going to be high quality. So you can see mine is used and this lever right here is a little bit, well, it works but it has a little bit to be desired. So we have the Smith & Wesson logo on it, Smith & Wesson on the grips, and these are, or on the handles rather, these are going to be definitely rubber textured, a rubber plastic, and it is fairly comfortable to hold in the hand. So as long as you're, I guess, not holding this button right here, it is actually, I would say, one of the more comfortable multi-tools as long as you're not uh, getting your hand uh, here. So do you notice any similarities? This is going to be the Gerber Balance. This is going to be the Smith & Wesson 15 and one So we are going to see a lot more similarities as we go along. All right, so on the pliers itself, the pliers seem to come together fairly well. You have pretty much your standard wire cutters, your thicker wire cutters as well. There's nothing going on under here, no wire crimpers or anything. And one of the things to notice is, is these are going to come exactly together to close. So there's no leeway. Let's see how these work. So these are pretty similar. So they will actually come solidly together as well. So for instance, a lot of multi-tools actually have a little bit of handle splay uh, when the pliers meet, but these do not. So on this side, we're going to be looking at, these are going to be all outside opening tools, going to be looking at the file. And I would say that the file is probably the worst tool on this. It's very shiny. It seems like it has very, well, it just seems like the file barely was cut in there. And you more have a very thin pry bar and that's pretty much what you get with that. The file, again, as with all the tools, are non-locking. So this is going to be a non-locking tool. So for those of you in other countries where that is very important, this might be something you would be interested in. And these are going to be a little bit hard to get out. So then we have the knife. So let's go ahead and... I'll go ahead and put the pliers back. Let's go ahead and see how well this cuts through just some twine here or some very thin rope. So there we go. And again, it doesn't feel that sharp, but mine is used. I sort of like the design of the knife. So for instance, let's see, on this side, we have the Gerber Balance. So I have to say, I actually like the design of this knife better. All right, and then on the other side, we have the bit driver. So this is going to be one of the few multi-tools that actually, well, I shouldn't say few, but they're, not every multi-tool comes with a bit driver. A lot of times they come with an adapter, but not always a bit driver. And again, that is part of the reason why it reminds me of the Gerber Balance, because you do have a large pair of scissors and a bit driver on the multi-tool. So with this, you'll have the bit driver, and then you will have this large pair of scissors. And again, these tools are fairly hard to get out, to be honest. They are not, not very easy at all. So there we go. We have the large pair of scissors. So for this bit driver, this, I believe, is four millimeter. Let's see. Yes, so this will be a four millimeter bit driver. This is a double-ended bit driver. And I'm not sure, I don't think there's any magnet in there. I think it just relies on this detent right here, this ball detent. And then one of the weird things is on the other side, we have a pull-up carbiner, which is very, very, very flimsy. And then when you put this down and you open the handles, let's see and you push up this little lever, you have got another four millimeter bit. 
So that's probably one of the neatest things about this multi-tool. I sort of like how they stuff that into the handle. All right, so we have got the four millimeter bit. And then on the other side, we do have, I think, what they classify as a saw. And then this, I think they classify as a wire stripper. But I don't know that I'd really classify it as that. But anyway, so here's the saw. And again, these are very cheap tools. And then we have the scissors. And again, you have to have about five inch long fingernails to open these. So let's go here. And as you can see, it is a very difficult procedure. All right, so there we go. And let's do something fairly thin. Let's go ahead and just start so we'll cut paper, that's an encouraging sign. Let's do something a little bit thicker and see how it does on this cardboard. It will cut cardboard as well, so that's encouraging. And then last of all, let's try to cut just a little bit of paracord and see what happens. So, and oddly enough, it cuts paracord, wow. So pretty shocked with that. Other all, uh, overall, I should say, this tool is fairly, well, really cheap filling. But it's got some interesting features, I have to say, intriguing. Now, these were marked all the way down from, I think, $40 or $35 down to about $15. And these are pretty much sold out. So you can still find some of these on eBay. You can find some of these. They're listed at Knife Center, but I think maybe they're discontinued. If you find these showing up at Optics Planet, you know they're discontinued. So I have seen them there. But anyway, you can find these on the used market. And maybe, if you're lucky, you'll be able to find a super cheap pair new in the package still at one of the stores. So I think this is useful to some people. It's The tools are not great. But anytime there's a bit driver in a multi-tool, and I do like that it's sort of that one-hand opening. And I have to say that it's one of the most comfortable multi-tools I've ever held. So I really like these rubber grips. I don't have hopes of them staying on very long, but for as long as they stay on, pretty comfortable actually. Now the Gerber Balance is also one of the most comfortable multi-tools. It's just got all these rounded edges and it contours really good to your hand. And AliExpress has almost an exact copy of this for about, I think 15 to $20. So keep that in mind. So it seems like the Gerber Balance has actually spawned uh, several copies of it. And the Smith & Wesson is an interesting design. I'm not sure how worth it it is, but for $15, 10 to $15, I don't think you're going too far wrong. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.